guys. How are you? Okay, I guess. I'm really a little sad because my siblings are going on a mission and I have to stay here and go to school. I'm really sorry to hear that. All of you guys, huh? What can I do for you? So, you know how every week we at Omag we tour and travel to Israel and Tzedu? Yeah. Um, so we were wondering if there was a way for us to go on a mission one day. Uh, well, it just so happens I have a friend who's got this really cool car that just might be able to help us out with this. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> To, to go back to 1967 to see the IDF take back Yerushalayim. Harbabi Yudinu! Harbabi Yudinu! Didn't we have that in Oneg? So, where should we go? I was thinking maybe we can go and see what Israel was like the year that Berman was founded. You mean 75 years ago? Oh, so, so cool! <laughs> So boys and girls, behind you over here is the Kotel Amaravi, the Western Wall. Why are there British soldiers here? Why are there no Minyanim here? Why is there no space here to daven? Wait, where's the Burgers Bar? This is the Kotel Amaravi in 1944, when it was under British rule. It's been that way since... The Balfour Declaration? See, I pay attention to no one egg. Very good. If we are under, under British rule, who is leading the Jewish people in Israel now? That's a great question. Let's go take a tour of Petach Tikva so we can see who the leaders of the Jewish people are now and in the future. Yeah, let's go. This is Petach Tikva, the home of the leader of the Irgun. What's going on in that house? I don't know. Uh, let's get a better look. Okay. Papa, what will happen with the war in Europe? I don't know, but Hashem always helps his people. With so much destruction in Europe, will Torah be lost? Never. How? I don't know, but I bet that somewhere, right now, in the year 1944, there's a new Jewish Hebrew day school opening up to continue the teaching of Torah. Like when? Like even in Washington, D.C. You mean that even in Washington, D.C., there are children learning Torah? Papa, do you ever feel that someone's watching you? Always. I feel like right now, there are hundreds of people watching me. That is why I changed my name from Menachem Begin to Yisrael Halpin. So the British can't find me. Why not just give in? We can't. We must help. Even if it means imprisonment or most or nefesh, the Jewish people must live on. And we must help in any way that we can. So by changing your name and playing the role of Rabbi Sassover, you think no one will find you? Oh, I hope people find me. I hope everyone that needs our help find us. Not just the British. <laughs> Papa is so smart. Yes, he is. And maybe when this is all over, you can go back to being Menachem Begin, and who knows, maybe even become the Rosh HaMashallah of the Jewish homeland and Jewish state. Wait, is that Menachem Begin? Yep. In 1944, he was the head of the Irgun. Didn't he become the Prime Minister, Rosh HaMashallah? Yeah, the sixth one. Where to? Can we go to the Declaration of Israel? Sure. That's in 1948. <laughs> על הקמת מדינה יהודית בארץ ישראל היא מדינת ישראל This is all the trickiest steps I had. 
Thank you. May I ask you a question before I order? Sure. How many cats and dogs does that family have? The family has so many chicken scraps. The family has no pets. They have seven children. The father is on dialysis, and the family has a little income. I wish that I can help, but I can't afford to give them more. They already owe me a lot of money. You know what? From now on, give them properly chopped meat and a whole chicken, and I will pay for it. Somehow. Wow, she paid for that family? For how long? Not just for that family, but she provided food for Shabbos for thousands of families. Wow, Rabbi Shields, where'd you come from? 2018. Mrs. Chaya Hammer and her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren provided Shabbos food for thousands of families, Shabbos after Shabbos, to go and make sure that everyone had exactly what they need to enjoy their Shabbos. Do you think that when we do chesed, we can have that kind of impact? Absolutely. Olam chesed yivaneh. Our world is built on kindness. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you aboard this El Al flight on the Boeing 737-800 aircraft. On behalf of El Al, the captain and the crew, we wish you all a pleasant flight. El Al, it's not just an airline, it's Israel. Eretz Yisrael is the place where we will go. It's the land of milk and honey. And what flight is this? I don't know, but everyone looks so happy. I want you to take a moment and realize that although you may have visited Israel many times before, today when you get off the plane, it'll be the first time as a Toshav Yisrael. Mazal to all of you and a special thank you to El Al for making this momentous flight. Oh, this is the first Nefesh to Nefesh flight. Israel! Israel! Israel!